Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies LeChuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threepwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big Whoop. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. I had one like that when I was a kid. I think this one's my favorite. Cruises. Three hour tours. The sign says the Booty Boutique, Mementos, Souvenirs, Artifacts. It's empty. Found that beauty at the bottom of the sea. She cleaned up real nicely, though. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Alrighty. That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. It says, beware of parrot. I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. 
That's a real ship's horn, just like the ones used on modern ships. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Okie dokie, that'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. That is a nice looking beard. I'd like to buy this mirror. I see you have an eye for quality. That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'm rich. Sightseeing. Three hour tours. Three hour tours. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first mate on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. I hope your luck is better. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Glass bottom boat. What a piece of junk. Where do you want to go? Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Nice try, Guybrush. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. I'm really very busy. Could we do this another time? Coming. Well, Mr. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Would you like to hear the story of the time I blew LeChuck's top? <laughs> Funny you should mention LeChuck, as he's the reason I brought you here. 
Ah, you wanted to thank me for getting rid of him, huh? Well, no thanks are necessary. You see, I... Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, the Chuck's back! I beg your pardon, did you say something? I took care of LeChuck once, I can do it again. You'll get your chance. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. I guess that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? Why, you... You can figure it out while you wait in jail for LeChuck to pick you up. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, Walt. I'll be back to relieve you at 11. <laughs> what a ferocious looking dog. Hello, little doggy. A fine example of dieting gone horribly wrong. Hey, who's your tailor? I hope I don't have to sleep here. It's a tibia. I can't reach it. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. It's a tibia. You doggy doggy. Here, boy. Mr. Willy Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. There's a banana in here, and an organ. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Hey, that <laughs> tickles! That is a nice looking beard. Made in Hong Kong. Capsize Charters, glass bottom boat for sightseeing or special interest voyages. There's a picture of her on it. What a big organ. If I could read, I'd spend all my free time at the Fat City Library. Reginald Blackbeard.
Excuse me. Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsize. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, huh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. I don't know how you got out of the jail, but I'm taking you back in. There's so many books here. I'll never be able to find anything. She looks kind of surly. This is a library! Excuse me. Shh! This is a library! Whisper! Now! What is it? Why do you have a model lighthouse here? There's a new lighthouse being built in town. That is a scale model of what it will look like. It's very attractive for a lighthouse. Yes, and it will be very bright, too. It will have one of the most powerful magnifying lenses in the Caribbean. I'd show you with the model, but unfortunately, the bulb has burnt out. I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Address? Sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue? Age. Nineteen, uh, twenty-one. Occupation? Pirate. Vices? Murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? Mm, I don't know. What have you got? You expect me to name every book in the library? Use the card catalog like a normal person. I think I'll try a different drawer. Rastafarian philosophy. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I think I'll try a different drawer. I think I'll try a different drawer.
And I think I'll try a different drawer. The Joy of Hex. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. And I think I'll try a different drawer. 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 I've had it with this card catalog. I think I'll try a different drawer. I think I'll try a different drawer. Great shipwrecks of our century. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I've had it with this card catalog. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? Could you find The Joy of Hex? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Do you have great shipwrecks of our century?
Okay, here you go. Anything else? Could you find Rastafarian philosophy? Okay, here you go. That's your limit. You'll have to give some books back before you can check out any more. This looks like a lighthouse on a beach. Shh. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. This is a library. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in jail? Governor Fat had me set free. Oh. Can I go upstairs? I'm sorry, but the governor doesn't want to be disturbed while he's eating. When will the governor be finished eating? <laughs> Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Really? I better fetch the cook. Famous pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Commander Buttonhead. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Rap scallion. Darg! Old skunk eye. Violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Barney gout. Mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Fester leech. I think this has been washed in about 10 years. Who is this Peep Wind character anyway? Idiots. Nice. Fools. I'll figure a way out of here. Hey! Uh oh. I can explain, I- Thanks for letting me out of there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't stick around. 
I've got to find out who framed me. It's empty. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. It's empty. Hey, there's some near grog in here. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Twenty-four red. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is. Care to make a bet? The next number. Please give me the password. If this is one, what's this? Four. Right. The winning number will be 22 black. Thanks. Nice. I'll knock. What do you want, kid? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Sorry to bother you. You again? What's the next winning number gonna be? Please give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is four, what's this? Five? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is five, what's this? Three. That's two. One more. If this is three, what's this? Two? No. It's one. Okay, we'll start over. Watch again. If this is one, what's this? Five? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is five, what's this? Two? That's two. One more. If this is two, what's this? Four? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club. But I don't recognize you. What? You don't remember me? No, but that's okay. You wouldn't have gotten the password right if you weren't a member. The winning number will be 26 red. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Twenty-two black. All right! You win again! Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. Easy money. Hello. How you doing? Could you explain how this game works? 
Sure, it's easy. Just tell me what number you want, and I'll spin the wheel. If your number comes up, you win. Sounds simple. What numbers can I bet on? One to thirty-two, red or black. Why does that other guy keep winning so much? Oh, maybe he's got some inside help. Know what I mean? Well, how can you make any profit if that guy keeps winning? Hey, I only work here. It's the owners who are losing money. Do many other people come to play here? Well, lots of people come to play when we've got a bunch of prizes. But we're almost out today. We only have three left. I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh yeah, here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like twenty-six red. Okay, here we go. Twenty-six red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have sixty pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants. The invitation. Congratulations! Thanks. You can't win if you don't play. All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. Caught anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? I'm also the man who caught the notorious Lechuck. Yeah, right. If you fish as poorly as you lie, you don't even deserve to be talking to me. I am the best fisherman in these isles, you know. You? Why you couldn't catch cold in a blizzard? The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an ant hill. That's why I'm known as the Blowfish. The fish you catch are so small you need tweezers to throw them back. Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around, and that is that. Not if your line is as weak as your lines. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? Sure, I'll take your bet. Let me tell you what I had in mind first. If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. Sounds fair. If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. Raw? Plain cold and with the head still on it. What do you say? All right, it's a bet. Great. I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. What with all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine. Just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. <laughs>
Nice. Where do you want to go? Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone, or on reserve. Sorry. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. I'd really, really like to rent a costume. Look, if you don't have a reservation, you don't have a costume. Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a five island radius. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's mansion. I need to rent a costume. I told you, we don't have any more costumes. You look busy. I'll come back later. You are cordially invited to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras blowout. Don't forget to bring this invitation when you pick up your complimentary costume. Please present invitation at door and wear your costume. It's a plastic recyclable bottle of near grog. Ah, you have a costume on reserve. Well, that's a different story. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. Nice costume. I don't want to wear this. Right now. Glass bottom boat. Three hour tours. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? Uh, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. I've got my invitation right here. Well, what do you know? You do have an invitation. Do you have a costume? I have my costume right here. Better put it on. Well, if you insist. But you'll have to try to restrain yourself. No, no, not here. Go in the bushes or something. Jeez. Oh, that is nice. And the boots are a nice touch. Okay, I guess you can go through. Have fun! Ha ha ha! 
Elaine Marley. Yeah, it looks like I'm too late for the hors d'oeuvres. To Elaine. It's too late. They're already picked clean. To this great party. To the party. Nice mask. Nice costume. Thanks. More subtle than both. Yeah, thanks. Not your usual larger than life Mardi Gras head. To the salmon pate. So, where are all the chicks? They seem to be enjoying the party. I'm not dressed for wrestling. Yeah, I got to do something here. To Mardi Gras! Nope. It looks like part of the map to Big Whoop. Probably saved a lot of materials, huh? All right, I got the first map piece. I'm gonna sweat off 20 pounds in this stupid costume. Well, what's the matter, boy? Smell something? Uh, nice doggy. <laughs> what's the matter there, Gabrush? What? How did you know my name? I was talking to the dog. Who are you? She named her dog Guybrush? Yeah, I don't get it either. It's not much of a name if you ask me. It says it's cause he's dumb and helpless and keeps getting in the way. But he sure can sniff out the governor's possessions. Maybe you should empty your pockets. Try and catch me, old man. Oh, uh, look out for that rake. Governor, I caught one of your party guests making off with your grandfather's map. Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? Bring him in. In here, Guybrush. Guybrush? Guybrush Threepwood? The one and only Sugar Bear. Of all the parties in all the houses on all the islands of the Caribbean, he had to crash mine. It's destiny, honey cakes. Don't talk to me. Snugglepuss. Get lost. Punky Doodle. I'm warning you. Pooper Dooper. Maybe I should go rake the back 40. Look at us. Together again. Boy, we haven't been like this since, well... Since I quit my job and moved away without leaving a forwarding address? Was that what happened? Gee, I, th I thought... Guybrush, can't you take a hint? We were a mistake. I thought we had an agreement. Have pity on my poor, broken soul. Oh, really? I realize now what a fool I've been. You're getting warmer. If you won't take me back, just kill me now. Well, that's not the most stupid thing you've ever said. Elaine, take me back. I can't live without you. Oh, Guybrush, I know I shouldn't have anything to do with you, but there's something about your weakness and ineptitude that I find infectious. Does that mean you're going to let me have the map? The map? Is that what this is all about? I should have known better. If the map's all you care about, You'd better go out and get it. Again, these costumes, <laughs> who can tell? That's true. There might be some base here. She's gone. I guess I really made her mad this time. She has shoulder pads and everything. I think I'm wearing enough women's clothes right now. Comfy. Central Caribbean School for Governors, Crew 67. Well, maybe she won't miss this old thing. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn in a dress. You know, I heard some guys talking about Marley's bust. This must be it. 
I don't want to break anything. Elaine would kill me. It's just a porcelain replica of the chest. I hate that knick-knacky junk. Just ask. Ha! Bark as loud as you want. Filbert's out raking the back forty. What the? Hey! Dang wind! Well, shoot. I'd like to, but this dress just doesn't have the pockets for it. I'm gonna ditch this thing once and for all. Okay, dog. You're coming with me. <laughs> the rocket! Don't mess with the governor's cans! Huh. Kitchen staff only! Sorry. You again? Who do you think you are? You better just get out of here! Hey! Come back here! I'm not done yet! No good punk. If it's not raccoons, it's teenage vandals. Oh, there you are. Anyway, like I was saying, you heard me. Get lost, transient hooligan. Punk. Where do you want to go? Wow! 
This is the biggest, the, uh, well, it, it's almost as big as the Leviathan I just hauled in. Really? Where is this Leviathan? Uh, uh, I think you're lying. Yeah, you're right. It was just a fish story. I guess you win. Here, take the pole. Where do you want to go? You're supposed to be cooking. I took my break. It's the law. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Hey, what'd you do to my piano player? Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually, it's a fictional name. Oh, all right. Can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have Yellowbeard's baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the bloody lip. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Thank you.
I think I'd better make myself scarce instead. Where do you want to go? 